we've been talking about adverse reaction data collection, but there's also interest in standardizing protocols so that when an IRB or people uh, look at it, uh, they don't start from scratch. Um, there's uh, the thought of developing standard case report forms. Uh, but certainly part of it is um, trying to stop collecting information that isn't uh, very helpful. Um, without uh, violating my rules, I should tell you that we are uh, in the process of modifying the rules on 15-day reports, safety reports. Um, we know now that we get uh, large numbers of um, uh, study, study uh, endpoints submitted to us as 15-day reports. Well, that really makes a lot of sense. Um, we get large numbers of uh, events that are just part of the uh, process. Somebody dies of his cancer, and even if that's not the study endpoint, we'll get a 15-day report. Very unhelpful. We, we, we are fairly close to changing that in a way that if people cooperate and don't submit things just because they're scared, uh, we will waste, stop wasting a lot of people's time. So that's, 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 on, its, uh, that's on its way. Um, it, the the uh, excess of data is not just a matter of oncology. Uh, in, in the cardiovascular area, people do these large 10 and 15 and 20,000 patient trials, and for at least a decade, we've been telling people, don't tell us about minor side effects that, uh, that don't do anything, namely anything meaning uh, get the patient out of the trial, change the dose, maybe have additional therapy to deal with the side effect. And we've been reaching agreements uh, sort of on a one-by-one -one basis with uh, companies not to collect that information. Um, it it uh, probably discourage, it probably limits the size of the trial, and it certainly discourages uh, uh, people from entering the trials because they don't want to waste their time. I should add, we've also said we don't want to know about most concomitant medications, only certain concomitant medications that might be of interest to the to the trial that's, uh, that's going on. So um, I start out with a great deal of uh, sympathy, uh, sympathy for this. If, if I understand Gwen's conclusions, it's that you don't really learn much from the class one and two uh, uh, information at all. But I, I am curious about one thing, and, and you need to tell me. What you showed was what you could find about the more serious adverse effects by looking at a subset instead of the whole population. What I didn't understand is whether, if you already have a well-described drug with studies in hundreds of people, you actually learn anything new even by looking at the grade three and four. And I couldn't tell whether you thought you'd learn something new. What you described is whether you could detect a difference of 2% or 3% or something like that. It seems to me part of the question is whether at some point in, in your history, you know, you've got several claims already. Uh, it's worth collecting them at all unless, as you said, they lead to a, di a discontinuation of therapy or perhaps a change in dose. So I think that could bear some discussion. I'd hate to say that you're being um, uh, too conservative, but that, that, doesn't, that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem um, out, out of the question. Um, uh, we, we are actually, for certain, going to uh, develop guidance on this. Uh, guidance has taken us a while to develop, but we're going to do it. Janet's interested in it, uh, and a number of us have been talking about this, and we're all interested in it. 